But I don't know. I don't even want this hoe to be formal. I don't think I want introductions too crazy. You can introduce yourself because, <laughs> oh, I want you to hear all aspects of who you are. So, Connor Gibbons. Cool. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm Connor Gibbons. Uh, alternative pop punk hip hop artist uh entrepreneur um yeah a little bit of everything man I do photography a little bit of videography some graphic uh, clothes making uh creative directing just a little bit of everything man all around creative but primarily focus on the music as well though so that's my main priority is music all right so shit, what, what's the next thing you're doing as of like as of today as of today next thing i'm doing hmm I know DK wants to work on some music, so we'll probably work on a little something when we get back to the crib. Oh, I need to listen to these mixes that uh, Dustin had just sent me to see what those are talking for. There's another podcast that wants to uh, get me on, so I gotta talk to them about it, but they're, they're kind of far away, so I gotta see like what they're really trying to do. That's as far as today. So you, you be recording yourself? Uh, yeah. I record myself, or um, I have Dustin Cavazos record me. Shout out him, fucking man, y'all are killing me. <laughs> I have uh, Vetti record me, uh, not as often anymore. Uh, Jay Spinna, or sorry, Jay Johnson. My bad. Correction, correction. Who else record me, man? Uh, Jack records me and uh, Dialogue. Yeah, those are like my main people. Good right, show. Good show. <laughs> My boy done hit the wood and had a, a short circuit. <laughs> Crazy pause, but hey. <laughs> With you, like, musically, I'm gonna be honest, I think I told you this before, whenever I first got into, like, listening to Dallas music back in, like, late 2018, uh, you was one of the first faces that I seen, and I found out about you on accident on Twitter because Tay-K was going crazy, he took a picture with Ease, and then someone was like, yeah, if you know Dallas music, you don't know who, and you don't know who this is, you're not really tapped in. And then somebody in the comments was like, nah, this Connor Gibbons. And then, boom. <laughs> <laughs> I found out Connor Gibbons. <laughs> no way, that's so funny, yo. Shout out Ease though, shout out Tay-K too. That's so funny, no way. Whoa. What, what inspired you to actually want to click my name when someone was like, nah, that's da 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 da. <laughs> Even though like clearly like that, like now, knowing now like it wasn't me, but like. But so I was trying to figure out. So that's shit, real. I, I was trying to figure out what the fuck was going on with Dallas music. And I was like, hmm, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Hey, no, nah, that's clean. That's fire. That's super fire. Yeah, yeah it'd be crazy to think sometimes that like, We've really been doing this shit for like a hot minute, like almost 10 years, which is pretty crazy to think about. But yeah. Yeah, but like since then to now, like I think you were talking about last year, you started the year off on tour, right? Or this year? I guess that was last year, yeah. yeah. 20, going into 2023, yeah. So progression as an artist. How, how does that make you feel? Cause like, truly, I'm a fan. I'll be listening to the stuff whenever you drop and everything. I'll be, I'll be tapping in. I, I've, I've gone to some of your video shoots and everything. I'll be telling niggas about your music, but it's like, you as the artist, like, shit, do you, do you look back at 2018? Like, dang, they still stuff I wish I had done different. Or are you like, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the direction that I've ended up going. Um, one, I want to say I appreciate that and appreciate you always like supporting me, bro, for real, for real. Um, and then to follow up also like, yeah, bro, I do think there's a lot of things I look back on and I'm like, damn, I wish I would have done this this way or have handled a situation one way or have done more. But um, I kind of at the same time feel like there's reasons why I guess I didn't and like, I don't know what the reason may be, but I'm doing them now. So uh, I think life is just like a learning and feeling process. So, uh, but as far as going on tour, how that made, how that like made me feel, bro, that was some of the funnest shit in my life. Like I still have like post tour, like depression where I'm like, damn, I wanna be back on the road. Damn, I wanna be back on the road. Like, I love that shit, bro. Getting to be able to like, wake up in a whole new city like either every other day or every day like is just 
is beautiful, bro. Like there's certain parts of it where you're like, damn, I wish I could stay here just a little bit longer to go like check out a museum or go check out like some shit that's going on in the city. But aside from that, bro, it's one of the most beautiful moments ever. Like honestly, one of the most like mind boggling moments I had, bro, was being in Phoenix and this group of people like knowing who I was and I've never stepped foot into Phoenix in my life and have never been there before. And like the fact that like a small group of people like knew who I was, like was insane to me. Cause I don't know, you just like, you know, you, you like kind of, it's weird how like we live these two different lives as like a social media life and like a real life. And so it's like weird when they cross and have like a crossover episode and you're like, whoa, this is real life and internet life put together in one. And that's how it felt like being in Phoenix and having a group of people that I've never met in my fucking life know who I was because of like what I do. Dang. Was that your favorite show? It was one of, honestly, my favorite shows were definitely in New York with Big Baby Gucci. Those mm. ones go crazy, bro. Shout out Gucci, man. Man. Oh man, what was that like? Bro, surreal. Like, the first time I went to New York was I think 2021 with Gucci. Is it 2021 or 2022? Actually, it was 21 because like it was right before they like redropped fucking pandemic laws and shit. But uh, bro, it was surreal. Like you fly in and you get there, and then you can either a pay like the hundreds plus some odd dollar fucking Uber and shit to get to like downtown wherever your excuse me wherever your hotel or whatever it may be, or you take the subway, which is underground, hell of a lot cheaper. It's like maybe like five bucks or some shit for like a few rides. And then, so I, we chose that route and took the subway, bro. And then you get to come out from the fucking, literally the sewer and you look up and there's just nothing but like these giant ass concrete buildings everywhere. Like it literally looks like a concrete jungle. Like that shit's crazy. Um, New York, one of the best experiences I've ever had and being able to do it a few times with like Someone on, I call like a really good friend it has just been like amazing, bro. Like the crowd, the people out in New York are amazing. Motherfuckers be like, New Yorkers are assholes. Hell no, they just about their day, they about their business. See, I'm from Detroit. So like I get like the Northern like hospitality and like how people are like, a lot of that shit is very much like timely. So like in New York, if you miss that bus by, five seconds your whole day is fucked so like you gotta really be like what do you need from me and that's why people think they're assholes but no nah, new york best experience of my life bro i love new york shout out new york hey what's your favorite song to perform then that i perform there or do I just to perform in general in general that's a tough one because like all my songs can have a different like oh, a different actually, vibe actually actually energy. actually before, before you answer that one i got a better question you you perform with a band, yeah. So, what's what's performing with a band live versus performing with like just backing tracks? Like, you think that's elevated performance for you? Oh hell yeah! yeah. Um, and I think it really like getting to perform with a band is very like um, homecoming, I guess, for me because like. I played the drums and I was in a band with actually my guitarist and I played the drums and we had our homeboy Alec who played bass. Um, and I mean, we were doing shows in Deep Ellum like 2014 to 16. Um, and so just having a live band, like to me, it always elevates the experience. Um, I mean, I did multiple years where it was just me and Dylan just jamming out, uh, like playing live shows. So it'd be like backing tracks and then Dylan's playing his guitar over him and I'm singing and then like, we're just going crazy. And then it just led to the point where we kind of just like found our tribe or I guess our band uh, and like it just continuously grows. Um, I'm really looking forward to the, to the time of day where like I can have like a pianist and like all sorts of different actual instrumentations. Like bro, I'd love to play with like a fucking like a symphony, like with like the violins and orchestra and shit. Like I would love to do that. Um, but yeah, I definitely think having a band elevates an experience like as a consumer by a million times. Like so my first ever show I went to 
was like my first ever live concert, like first one ever for real, dead ass, was Justin Bieber, and that was 2013. Um, and I remember seeing like, cause I would I would hear his music like obviously on the radio and like in my headphones like MP3s and stuff, and like it sound great to where you know you can be a fan. But then when you go and see it live and they have live instrumentation and like a live rendition of those songs, I think it just brings like the whole experience together to where now there's a purpose and a reason to want to go to these shows to where it's like, yo, I already love this song by so-and-so, but damn, when they got a live band behind that hoe and, the, and they're singing it live, it's fucking crazy. So we got to get tickets to go. So yeah, I definitely, definitely believe having a band brings like such a surreal experience, especially as a consumer. Justin Bieber performed with the band? Yeah. The song is Justin Bieber guy with the band. Bro, live, they play all his songs with a band. It's crazy. It sounds so clean. I'm surprised you didn't know that. Cause you saying 2013 too, like. We talking. We're talking like fucking. Baby, 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 that's a little. Baby, baby, yeah, I mean, they still had the live band for that too, like. <laughs> but we're talking more like Believe, like that Beauty and the Beat with Nicki Minaj and like that whole Believe. album. That's the one where he got like the prayer hands type shit. No, that's purpose. They might sound like a real believer on this home. <laughs> so no, that's purpose. <laughs> you be, get your Bieber facts straight, Kuzo. Like, damn, that shit crazy. <laughs> that's my tween, look at this. <laughs> this. This question don't even make sense for you, listening to silence ass nigga, bro. <laughs> who you listen to, bro? Like, or who do you hear? <laughs> okay, so, alright, just to give the people some background, right? Off camera, he asked me, who do I listen to? Or what do I listen to when I'm getting in the car? And I asked him, I said, yo, you want me to be for real? Or just make some shit up? And then he said, be for real. So, I kept it for real. I don't be turning on the radio. I don't be listening to a lot of shit. I just, I don't. I, I was like, I listen to the sound of silence. But... What I do be hearing when I'm out is like, really, it's all, really like uh, Bari and uh, like Ethan and a few other of the people who be at the crib all the time, a few other the gang, like they really just be playing shit. And so that's how I really be hearing like wherever is kind of like popping up right now or what might be like going in um, as far as like, what like, but I've been, like he was just playing like some Ken Carson the other day. He was playing fucking, uh, we listened to that new future. Um, honestly, bro, it becomes a blur. Like, there's half the shit that we listen to just because, like, there's like, because like, I'm not the one who's paying attention, like, turning it on. So I'm just like, oh, there's a fire beat. I'm just like, so yeah, I'm, I, I kind of suck when it comes to that aspect. But, like, that's just what I'm doing right now, you know? Like, I feel like I'm just burnt out of listening to shit. Nothing, nothing catches your ear. You ain't ever turned around and had a Shazam that hoe. Be like, hey Siri, what song this is type shit? Uh, yeah, I mean like a few, but like, I can't even tell you like the name of them right now. Right. Like, bro, I'm telling you like, I'm horrible, bro. Like I literally throw on, like I said, I throw on my Spotify DJ AI, bro. And that shit just be cooking. Like I let that shit do all the work and I just let it play and I listen. It has, Shit, from the likes of myself <laughs> to Juice World to X, some Lil Peep. Uh, it plays some Ken Carson. It plays some Post Malone. It plays some Ariana Grande. Is playing uh, some Lil Tecca. Um, that's the one I will say that I can remember at the moment. Actually, that's like that I've heard some new shit, and I'm like, oh shit, this is Tecca. So yeah, Tecca. Hey, Lil Tecca got a sound. Um, yeah, he definitely does. Um, shit, man. So, my like, poor Stacy, maybe. Um, yeah, otherwise, bro, I really don't. I don't know. I, in a self conceited way, I listen to a lot of my own shit, too, though. Just like, I guess to like keep hearing it and to see what I need to fix on it, or if it's just done and. And obviously I relate to my own music, so I guess right now I've just been like listening to myself because of what, how I feel in my current situation in life. 
Do you think that there'll ever be a better dance than the Dougie? <laughs> than the Dougie? Oh shit. Um, a better dance? Yeah. I mean, shit. Didn't uh? Well, I don't know. Am are we I talking about in in the aspect of like actually performing the act of the dance, or are we talking I'm about? I'm talking about in any aspect, shape, or form, bro. I'm saying the Dougie is the greatest dance ever created. I don't know, man. This one kind of tough to the. <laughs> Fuck out, like, hey, <laughs> fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Yeah, bro, that's the one. But I I don't know, man. That's that's fucking tough. Is anything better than the Dougie? I mean shit. I don't know. If we're talking about in the sense of like what took over the world, I mean that, that whipping shit went kinda crazy. They had <laughs> that shit took over the world kind of crazy. I mean, what was that one that uh that buddy just did? Fucking with the 10k cash. Uh, uh, yeah. The, <laughs> yeah, that shit went crazy too. Like, so I don't know. It's hard to say if it's the better dance in the Dougie. I don't know. Are we, could we say like maybe like Soldier Boy? Is that better than Dougie? Hey, I'm. I'm gonna be honest. It's it's. Too too many steps, way too many steps. Like that's true. If you haven't cranked that in a while, bro, that hoe come on, and then you find yourself just that you, <laughs> you ain't lying. <laughs> you you, you <laughs> lie and you hit that Superman. <laughs> you ain't fucking lying though. Oh shit, you ain't lying. Hey. Yeah, man. Fuck. But, but the Dougie, hey, <laughs> shit, that nigga snapped on that hoe. Hey, he taught him. <laughs> and you know, if you teach me how to duck, you teach me. So he taught him. He fucking taught him, damn it. Hey, it's crazy, man. You see. <laughs> <laughs> hey, anything. Shit, I'm, I'm gonna just give you the flow right now. Like anything you just want to get off your chest, anything you want to say, anything people just got to know about. Shit, this is your time, bro. Um, shit, anything that I want to say, uh, well, um, you can't climb a mountain if it's smooth, <laughs> um, what else do I want to say, uh, don't do business with Bossy Was Here. You want to elaborate? Or <laughs> 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 yeah, man, I'll happily elaborate, <laughs> fucking happily. Now that I got a little bit of uh, somewhere to speak my damn mind, people, people, uh, man, look, people love to say they do shit and that they're your friends and and whatnot, man. And uh, you do business with them a few times. You think things are kosher, like. So basically, this dude named Bossy, uh, he made um, some shoes for me. We've done some pants. Um, we made pillows. We've we've done all sorts of shit together, bro. Since like 2019. Um. And so earlier this year in like January, which, bro, let me let me show you what these what this shit was supposed to look like, fam. This shit was gonna be fire. That's something I like. I can't fucking like stress enough. It was supposed to be so fire. And it looks great. Like it just looks amazing. Um, so anyways, I had hit him up to make a backpack for me. Um, and it's gonna be a backpack on my logo. It's gonna look super cool, super chill. Uh, it was gonna be made from like real leather. It was gonna be a big travel backpack, like uh, fucking like 18 some odd inches or long or something. It's gonna be a nice, intricate, like big backpack, bro. Be able to fit laptop, uh, iPad, clothes, interface, everything comfortably. Like it's gonna be a nice bag, bro. Like we sat and designed this shit for like a month and a half. So I paid him a uh, little, little under a thousand bucks to get this bag made, um, which is like ridiculous for a bag, but. Nonetheless, it's not because real leather, handmade, custom bag, shit to it. Like a Louis bag is fucking like 2300, so it's like, what are we talking about, you know? Um, motherfucking, I pay him all the bread. He's, he supposedly was starting up the, the bag. The bag was supposed to be done March 25th. The final like payment was gonna be right before March 25th, which was right before my birthday. Uh, my, my birthday is the 25th. 
And so I was supposed to have this bag. I was gonna be going to LA. Um, I was just gonna be traveling and like have, you know, I wanna have my bag. Bag's not done. I was like, all right, that's fine. Whatever, it's cool. But anyways, I still paid them off fully, bro. No, this is my, keep in mind, this is my friend. So like, I'm not thinking, oh, if I pay bro all this money, like he's gonna fucking scam me. Like he's gonna run off on me, you know? Cause again, no, I thought he's my friend. So like, then a few, uh, few weeks go by, it's getting to be like, what, June? I'm like, yo, what's up with the bag, bro? Like, any updates? Kept dodging me, kept dodging me. When I were like, in, actually he was dodging me all the way from April until June. And that's when I was like, yo, what the fuck is up, bro? And then he finally hit me back and was like, oh, bro, I can give you half of your money back, uh, da, 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 da. And then, so I call him and I'm like, bro, I know you don't even got the bread. Like, don't worry about it. Like, I just want the bag. Like, I'm not pressed about the cash. I just want my bag. Like, which like, I don't get me wrong. I would have loved to have the bread, but like, I paid for a bag. I want my fucking bag. And so like, fucking got the bag, or my bad. Told him like, don't worry about the cash. Just I want my bag. He's like, all right, bro, I got you. Like, no problem. Da da da. da. And I'm gonna give you. And he does tattoos. He was like, so I'm gonna give you a free tattoo for the inconvenience. Da da da. I was like, no problem, bro. I sound great. Let's get it. And then. Few weeks go by, I'm letting it cool because I'm like, all right, but like, you know, you let him work on the bag, be patient. Keyword, be patient. And no, I'm very understanding. Like, a lot of the times, bro, like, people would not be understanding. No, I'm supposed to have this bag March 20 fucking 5th. We're in June. And I'm over here, like, it's all right, bro. Like, I get it. Life be lifing. He gave me a whole sob story. You know, it's like, I get it. Life just be lifing. Like, I'm very understanding. Especially when you're transparent with me. I'll be very understanding. And so, I was like, let it slide, wait a few weeks, bro start ignoring me again, bro. I can show you this shit, family. Like, like family, bro. I got the receipts right here. Like, if there's one thing I, I, I won't do is lie. Look, ignored from July 10th all the way to September 15th. And note, that was even, look, this was ignoring me. May, all the way to fucking June. See, like, bro, I'm telling you, like, I'm not lying. And so, like, I said, I told him, I said, bro, like, I'm gonna have to let, like, people know that, like, you're not good for business. Like, and then I posted on my story, don't do business with bro. Not even 30 seconds, he opens that shit. All of a sudden now can see texts and calls that I've been doing for the last two months. Motherfucker call me an impatient princess. Say the impatient princess returns. <laughs> Bitch, what? <laughs> <laughs> the impatient princess returns. <laughs> I couldn't believe my fucking eyes, bro. I said no sh fucking shit. The impatient princess returns. For being ignored for three months? What? I said, what? Talking about some, I told you from the start, I don't make bags anymore. Bitch, where? Where did you say that? I have fucking receipts. Oh yeah, we can happily do this bag for you, bro. I would love to make this for you. Fuck out of here. What the fuck are we talking about? You know, like, yeah, so this is supposed to be the bag though, bro. Super fi, right. I see Hey. Stupid fi. Like, I'm talking stupid fi. Like, bro, this is gonna be so fire. Bro robbed me and the community out of a fucking fire ass gem, bro. Like, talking about some impatient princess returns. So then, <laughs> I had to hit the fucking, then everyone just look like, bro, I'm an open book, so I posted this shit on my story. I'm like, just so y'all are aware, like, this is how he finally responded to me after showing the receipts of like months of not responding to me. And it's like, bro, and then he tried to play victim. I think I'm the one who's done with this transaction. You're done. You're done. I've been done. Where the fuck is my bag? And at this point, where the fuck is my money? Like, 
God damn, you're done with the transaction? Who gave you the right to make that call? <laughs> Fucking bossy. Like, what the fuck? Shit's crazy, bro. This shit made me feel like I was on a reality TV show. I said, ain't no fucking way. Hey, Buddy bro. called me impatient princess returning. Oh, no, we like he been sitting on that. Like Kuzo, that shit been pent up in his soul. Knowing damn well he dead wrong. Like that shit's crazy, bro. So I made impatient princess shirts and sold, <laughs> and sold some. <laughs> the community ate that shit up for breakfast, bro. Which I'm so glad that everyone did because it's like, Cause it's like, dude, what the fuck? Like, you know, like, bro, I really try to like, bro, it, it's just so crazy. Like he really tried to like play victim, tell me I'm impatient. And it's like, what was I, how long was I supposed to be waiting for, bro? In all reality, how long is I supposed to be waiting for until I'm, I'm in my casket and then you're like, oh man, this bag would look so good on you and you put it on top of my tomb. Like, come on gang. Like, like how long was I supposed to fucking wait for until I said, you know what? You're a piece of shit, bro. Like I'm calling you out. Like. How long was I truly supposed to wait? Like, like you can only be so, so impatient, for, I guess, for so long, right? Like, till you're like, man. But anyways, yeah, don't do business with fucking Bossy. Don't do business with Bossy. At handle, at Bossy was here, canceled. Don't work with him. He gonna rob you. His lines aren't straight on his tattoos. All around, not a good dude. And it's crazy because I used to gas bro up because I really saw potential in him. But once you turn ugly, I see nothing but ugly. And so back to when you told me, hey, you got the floor. Well, I had the fucking floor. Don't do business with Bossy was here. Never do business with Bossy. Um, what else I got to say while I'm on the fucking stand? Um, I'm grateful. <laughs> Your mama should be ashamed of you. I got it. You look exhausted, <laughs> unstable. <laughs> Yo! Oh my God. But, um, oh, uh, me and Bari got a project. We're working on, we're working on an EP. Um, <laughs> uh, it's fucking called uh, Hate to See It and uh, boy I hate to see you all do business with fucking Bossy that's for damn sure um, what else I got uh, oh I'm, I'm, a, uh, I'm dropping um, another song towards the end of the year called Don't Go um, filming a nice little uh, like short film visual for that. That'd be cool. Um, and really, I'm just getting prepped for next year, man. Really, just getting prepped for next year. Uh, I got a few uh, placements that I just got put in uh, for one of the songs just released called Fatal Attraction. Um, I can't really speak on what they are quite yet on camera, um, just because uh, people going to start asking me questions I don't have answers to if I do say it. Um, and then, uh, what else, man? Yeah, just trying to get lined up for a little EP project of my own uh, for next year. Um, I think I'm still gonna call it Only Human. I'm not sure if that's what I wanna actually still call it. Uh, I fluctuate through emotions all the time, just being fucking human. But I, one thing I do know is I'm, I'm patient, for sure. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, that's what I have to say on the floor right now, man. Like, that, that's that's what all I got at the moment is, uh, oh, and uh, make sure you fucking, you dirty animals, brush your teeth, take showers, and keep hydrated, you know? Like, it's very important. Um, that part. Yeah, man. What, what, what you been working on, bro? What, what you what you been doing lately? Like, I've kind of seen you been doing a little bit of everything. Hold right on, bro. This ain't my interview, bro. Hey, but... If, if I'm being interviewed, you know, I want to ask the inter yeah, interviewer what, 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 uh, what they got cooking up, too. Oh. Um, I don't know. I just dropped music. Um, I'm making videos so that I can make more videos about the videos. And Fire. Then hopefully people like my videos about my videos. And then they're going to be like, damn. I need to go watch his videos. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's a solid ass plan if you ask me. Shit. Yeah. Definitely a solid ass plan. But, shit, like I said, this ain't my interview. It's yours. So, if that's it, 
Everybody give a round of applause for Connor Gibbons. Yay. Thank y'all. Thank yeah. you. Anyway, uh, what, what's your ads? Because Ad handle is at Connor Gibbons 97 on all platforms. That's C O N N O R G I B B O N S 97 on all platforms. Um, and you can stream. Have you ever music. put your name on the flyer with the ER? Um, yeah, there has been people that has. Yeah, bro, bro. It, it's uh, it's actually so funny because um, I'll have people DM me like on the regular, uh, and to one DM someone, their name has to be clicked on, and their name typically I would say ten out of ten times pops up right up top, and it says their name right, yeah. um, you know, and it's spelled scary. wrong almost every time. Uh, whenever they type and I'm like, well, hold on. The correct one is right above. And you had to click my name to even type to me, but somehow you put an ER in there still. Yeah, it blows my mind. I don't know, but yeah, yeah, I get, I get ER'd all the time, man. Yeah, bro. So there you have it. It's Connor Gibbons, no ER, bro. It's an OR. <laughs>